Dr. Jaffe, can you um, explain how detoxification is related to uh, someone's quality of sleep? Very important question about the relationship of sleep uh, and um, what I will call the neurochemical balance. When most of us think about sleep, we think of the absence of being awake, when in fact, sleep is a very important restorative part of our daily rhythms. It's at night when our body really repairs itself. It's at night when our body is able to identify abnormal cells and eliminate them. So very important to get restorative sleep. And yet most of us, even from very early infancy, did not start healthy sleep rhythms. So the first thing I want to point out is that if we're going to sleep well, we have to prepare to sleep. And for me, that means beginning about a half an hour or so before I'm going to go to bed, I start a salt and soda bath, a half cup each of baking soda and Epsom salts and a warm tub of water, and I'm going to be in there about 20 minutes, during which I'm going to do about five minutes of relaxed, baby-like abdominal breathing and 15 minutes of active mindfulness, meditation, or equivalent. I have a green dichromatic light that bathes me while I'm in the water. This is in the ceiling, the light is. And when I come out, I'm pink like a baby, I'm relaxed. The Epsom salts and baking soda have increased the release of toxic waste matter because the piloerector muscles in the pores of your skin, sense the warmth, the alkaline bicarbonate, and the soothing magnesium that allows those pores to open up and toxic matter to come out, relaxing you and making your sleep more restful. And some magnesium does get in, and since many people are deficient in magnesium, that's a good thing. Then when I get into bed, I stretch. I find it very helpful, and Carl Reiner, who is now 94, going on 95, I believe, says that part of his vitality and his joie de vivre is that he stretches in the morning before he gets out of bed, and he stretches in the evening before he falls asleep. And uh, my son Sky recommended to, that I take 15 minutes or so to really stretch out the day, because uh, lots of your connective tissue, your collagen and elastin infrastructure, tends to wind up and get curled on itself. And each day, if you stretch yourself out, not only does your posture improve, but by stretching the collagen and releasing that bit of tension, you sleep more restful. So there are lots of parts to sleep. And for many of us, the essential chemical rhythms are not there. So when we fall asleep, in the sleep center deep in the brain, the adrenaline must fall and the serotonin must rise. And where do we get adrenaline from? We get it from the amino acid tyrosine. And where do we get serotonin from? We get it from the amino acid tryptophan. And where do we get those amino acids? Well, from our diet. And most of us, because of the protein intake that we do take in, we get plenty of tyrosine and phenylalanine and we make plenty, maybe too much, of adrenaline and noradrenaline, epinephrine and norepinephrine if you prefer. And so very often people have too much adrenaline and it doesn't fall, or they've now shifted to a vegan diet and now they don't get enough tyrosine and so the adrenaline isn't high enough to fall. So adrenaline has to go down at the same time that serotonin comes up. And the serotonin comes up only when you have tryptophan. And since many people uh, have a tryptophan deficient diet, we recommend perk, sleep, guard, two capsules half an hour before bed. Best time to take it would be just before you get into a salt and soda bath, because it takes about a half an hour for these free form amino acids uh, to get into your body. And then they very quickly in the gut nervous system and in the central nervous system turn into the neurochemicals that are needed. So we recommend perk sleep guard. We also find that some people do much better if they add one or two perk detoxin guard or perk lipogard forte 
half an hour before bed. Now, other people find the best time to take those detoxifiers is in the morning or middle of the day. That's a matter of preference and experience. But I can tell you that when you reduce the excital neurotoxin load and when you enhance the essential nutrient availability, your restorative sleep is so, um, the quality of your restorative sleep is so improved that you get up in the morning eager for your day, whistling a happy song. Uh, the challenges look like opportunities. Uh, you are better able to eat sensibly uh, rather than to eat when you're anxious or nervous. There are so many benefits to restorative sleep that I could go on all day, but I'll stop here saying Perk Sleep Guard is a key when you have healthy sleep rhythms and when you respect your sleep process as a very active uh, and uh, nourishing, nurturing one, it reciprocates.